Hello! Another week. Another tax year, in fact. Um, we're starting afresh for a new year. And for the first time, I've actually decided to pay for some bookkeeping software. Um, I've gone for QuickBooks. Uh, mainly because that is what my accountant, who is also my sister, or rather she's my bookkeeper, it's all a bit confusing, but basically keeping it in the family, um, has recommended to me. Essentially, the business has grown, which is brilliant, to the point now where actually doing everything manually and doing my bookkeeping manually every single month is actually taking me a lot longer than I really want it to do. What I'd much rather is that I can just go in and, um, you know, reconcile between the two, like, like how basically these online softwares do, which will save me a little bit of time. I'm still planning on doing it monthly. I'm not going to leave it all until the end of the year or anything like that. But it is hopefully now going to save me a couple of hours every single month. I might even start doing it weekly. Who knows? We'll see. Um, that's the major change. This week, I have got more editing to do. I've got some podcasts to edit. I've also got some audio long reads, which are slightly different to get done as well. I went out for a run at lunchtime today. Basically, because I've not been doing much running recently, I went to park run on Saturday, but apart from that, I've not really been getting in my exercise. So I'm going to focus on my physical and therefore my mental health over the next week or so. And tomorrow it's Nick's birthday. So I've come out to go and get a couple of cards and some presents. I found it really difficult. Amelia, my daughter, has been unwell over the weekend. We also had my sister here. And because of the way that I've been working just so much recently, I've not given myself any time to actually go and get cards or presents. So um, yeah, it's a bit late notice and I am kicking myself for that. But I'm, I know what I'm gonna go and get, so I'm gonna go and get that done now. Well, I think I'd call that a success. I feel like I'm really struggling today. I had a big plan that I was gonna go for a run at lunchtime and that just hasn't happened. I got up this morning feeling really meh, but wanting to get out of the house. So I went to Tim Hortons, which is like a Canadian McDonald's really. And I sat there and I worked for the morning. My plan being that sort of lunchtime, I would go home and I'd go for a run and then I'd have lunch. And then I'd work here at home for the rest of the day. And that kind of worked out, except that I ended up spending an hour longer at Tim Hortons. It just took me so much longer to get the work done that I wanted to do this morning than I thought it was going to. And that delayed me, kept me there for an extra hour. By the time I got home, it was definitely time for lunch. I didn't want to go for a run. It was raining and I just was like, Ugh, I'll have lunch and then I'll go back to work. And now I'm at work again, trying to get started on something else. And I just feel really lethargic about it. This whole work-life balance thing just isn't working for me today. The guilt of not going for a run is really prevalent. But I know that if I go for a run, I will then feel guilty about having not done the work. So I feel like I'm in an absolutely massive catch-22. I've sat work off. It's just not working for me today. Like at all, I'll be honest. Can't get into the flow of it. Just can't get into it, basically. So I've brought myself out for a run. I realize I'm walking while I'm talking to you, but I just needed some fresh air, completely different perspective on things. And this is my outlet, I guess. So I've brought myself out down the Transpennine Trail. I don't really know how far I'm going to go. I'm just going to run 
until I basically feel like I should turn around and go back. But I need this. I definitely need this. Back there, Runcorn Expressway Bridge. Uh, that even further there is the old Runcorn Witness Bridge, Queen Elizabeth II Bridge. Uh, I'm about two miles in. I'm gonna do half a mile more and then turn around and go back. Already starting to feel clearer though, which is good. It's Friday and I am currently tech hopping a podcast recording that's going on behind me. Uh, what that means is essentially there's a recording happening and I'm here just in case anything goes wrong. I've set them up, they should be off to a flyer by now and I shouldn't have to come in again until they've actually finished recording, which is great. I've already finished editing last week's vlog, so the one you've already seen is now done. I've left it, I've not uploaded it to YouTube just yet. I've decided to leave it, sit on it for the rest of the day, and then at the end, I'm just gonna watch it back, and at that point is when I'll upload it and get it done. Yesterday, I ended up feeling so overwhelmed. I went out for that run, and it didn't really end up clearing my head that much. I still came home feeling fuzzy. So I ended up kind of just thinking to myself, I need to just have a good night's sleep and get up and crack on again today. So I've got quite a bit to do today. There's this tech op recording that I'm doing now. And then there's also another one of these that I'm doing later on this afternoon with the same people as it actually uh, turns out to be. Um, but I've got one big podcast project episode that I need to work on today and get finished by the end of play today because it is Thursday the day before Good Friday so nobody is working tomorrow so I need to make sure that I get this episode back to the team that I'm doing it with by tonight so that they can at least have a chance to listen to it on Tuesday morning and then hopefully we'll be putting it out just a day later than we normally do. Um, so yeah I'm going to Make sure that this recording goes well and crack on. I'm in Manchester today for BBC Squad Goals. Here we are at the BBC in Media City. It's going to be a really good show. I love doing this. Basically, I'm the third voice, which means that I tend to always look at League Two and I get to work in the most incredible surroundings, including the studio, which feels like home. We're with Ben Thornley today. He's our guest, former Manchester United player. Peterborough 2, Charles League 2. Yeah, it's Carlisle 2, Tranmere 0, Crawley 0, Bradford 0, Crew 2, Barrow 0, Gillingham 1, Doncaster 0, Grimsby 1, Hartlepool 4, incredible, Harrogate 0, AFC Wimbledon 2, Newport 1, Northampton 0, Rochdale 4, Walsall 2, another incredible game going on there. Salford nil, Leighton Orient 2 in my game of the day, Stevenage 1, Colchester 1, Sutton nil, Stockport County 1, and Swindon 1, Mansfield 4. Hashtag BBC EFL, we want to hear from you, Gabriella, anything on the socials? And before you know it, it's the weekend. We went to Northwich Park Run this week. Just a different one, we're trying different ones each week. Did a really good time with it to be honest I was really impressed did it with some friends as well which is always fun to do and then Sunday was all about eating Easter eggs so we are basically done for this week thank you so much for watching please do like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week bye